I know, uh, I know a lot of y'all familiar with their prayer, correct? So I would like y'all to repeat after me, if y'all don't mind. All right. Our Father, Our Father which you are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. In, earth, in earth, as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day, Give us this day. Our, daily our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, us our debts. as we forgive our debtors. And, debt and lead us not into temptation, into temptation. But, deliver us but deliver us from all evil. From all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the, kingdom. the, power. the power, and the glory, and the glory. forever. forever. Amen. Blessed be to y'all. Shout out one. What's going on, everybody? So today is the birthday of a man that I am proud, extremely proud to be named after. Today is the birthday of the great honorable black man, Malcolm X, right? Um, Malcolm X is one of my favorite human beings to ever walk this earth. And he is a he is a hero of my a hero of mine, without a doubt, right? Um why the reason why I admire Malcolm X so much is that he was a fearless black man. Like during a time where black men were encouraged, black people in general were encouraged to cower to Jim Crow laws and to be subservient to racist standards across America at that time. Malcolm stood up firmly for what he believed in and he spoke so eloquently, but at the same time he spoke with conviction and he spoke firmly and he stood up for what he believed in no matter what the cost was. Even if that cost meant his life, he was willing to give his life to speak for his people and speak uh, speak about or speak in support of what was right and what was right for his black people, right? He was a man that was about his family, uh, about his principles, and he had his morals intact. And that's something that you can never take away from a man, right? Um, Malcolm was absolutely necessary for not only the black struggle, but also the ascension or the advancement of black people during that time period, right? Um, Malcolm got people and black people in the mind of thinking that we can fight systemic racism. Uh, we can fight racial oppression and overcome that and elevate to a whole nother level that a lot of people once thought not achievable at that time, right? Like the courage and conviction he possessed at that time was incredible due to the, like the racial tension and the extreme racism that existed in America at that during that time period, man. Like a black man would have been killed saying the things that Malcolm believed in. If he would, if a black man would be killed for even regurgitating the same sentiments that Malcolm X expressed, and he did it so fearlessly. And to me, like he stood firmly on what he believed in, no matter what the cost was, and that is a true example of what a man is supposed to be. In order for you and me to devise some kind of method or strategy to offset some of the events or re a repetition of the events that have taken place here in Los Angeles recently, we have to go to the root. We have to go to the cause. Dealing with the condition itself is not enough. And it is because of our effort toward getting straight to the root that people oftentimes think we are dealing in hate. We are oppressed. We are exploited. We are downtrodden. We are denied not only civil rights, but even human rights. So the only way we're going to get some of this oppression and exploitation away from us or aside from us is come together against the common enemy. Who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? 
Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. No, before you come asking Mr. Muhammad, does he teach hate? You should ask yourself, who taught you to hate being what God gave you? And I, for one, as a Muslim, believe that the white man is intelligent enough. If he were made to realize how black people really feel and how fed up we are without that old compromising sweet talk, stop sweet talking it. Tell him how you feel. Tell him how, what kind of hell you've been catching and let him know that if he's not ready to clean his house up, if he's not ready to clean his house up, he shouldn't have a house. It should catch on fire and burn down.